Welcome to the first devlog of Light the Dark, my game project in Unity. The idea of the game is simple. There is a fire in the center of the map, and the player wakes up close to it, without any idea why he is there. The fire is the key point of the game. Exit from the illuminated region means death. Why there is no sun? What is hidden in the woods? How you can survive in this place? To answer this and other questions, you must follow the next devlogs. Let's start creating a new project in Unity. It is a 3D game and its name is Light the Dark. First, I focus on the fire. The Unity Particle System is perfect for such a job. I made a particle system and I start to change parameter to simulate the fire behavior. Soon I realized that it was not so simple, and the solution was only one. Go to our favorite search engine, type how to create a fire in Unity and follow one of the Indian videos that are advised. In the description you will find the one chosen by me. After different hours where I struggled with Unity, I obtained this outcome. The fire is formed by three different systems. The first forms the darker flames in the back. The second is responsible for the glowing effect in the front. And the third one creates some red circle that flows around. The next step was writing a small code to increase or decrease the fire dimension. During the game, the flames will try to extinguish themselves, and the player must feed them to avoid it and stay alive. The effect is not definitive, but for now it works. To create the ground, I added a plane to the scene, and I increased its scale by a factor of 20. I also changed the camera position to obtain a better view. The fire is made just by particles, so I needed to introduce a light source to illuminate the ground just created. The light source is a point source in the same position as the fire center. I modified different parameters until I reached something like this. Obviously, I never made errors during the process because I'm a god in programming. After a bit of thinking, I understood that two light sources are better than one. A yellow light, very strong, is emitted near the center, while a red light, softer, is emitted in a wider region. The overall effect is very cool. Up to this point, the ground is too bare, so it's time to introduce grass. I went to Blender and I created a grass mesh using the particle system. Also in this case, I followed a YouTube tutorial that you can find in the description. Once introduced in Unity, the grass object appeared like this. I know that it's not beautiful, but we can improve it. Thanks to my degree in shader science, I was able to create a simple shader that reacts to light. If you look at the grass from here, it appears colorful because the photons emitted by the fire can arrive to the material and bounce back to the camera. While if we see the same object from behind, it appears darker since fewer photons can do the same trick. By copying the mesh over and over again, it's possible to cover all the ground with grass. But there are two problems. First, the grass seems to float on the surface. And second, the area in front of the light is too dark. To solve the problems, I substitute the ground material with the same shader material of the grass. In this way, the color becomes uniform. Instead, to illuminate the camera view, I used a new source of light, valid only for grass. The random variation of color present makes it more realistic, but still too static. Maybe the presence of a weak wind could improve this scene. I worked very hard to modify the shader, and the result was the following. Probably you are thinking, what is this shit? At least this is what I thought before realizing that I made a mistake in the graph shader. After I solved it and adjusted the parameters, the wind became effectively credible. I think this is enough 
for this devlog. If you enjoy, please leave a like. More devlogs are coming.